So before I jump into jQuery, I wanted to show you package.json. So package.json is a way of uh, kind of describing this entire um, app that we're building or this software that we're building. Um, in this case, I just have, notice I have TypeScript in here and all these dependencies, but the question is, how do you actually make this? So I'm gonna rename this as um, archive.json, just so we can remake it. So archive.json is this, and I'm gonna come back into my project, and I'll just do npm init. So what npm init does is it actually creates this package for me. So I can give it a name. So in this case, I called it CFE setup. I can give it a version. I'll just leave it as 1.0.0. I can give it a description. Uh, I can do the entry point. In my case, I'm gonna leave it as the default of Webpack. Um, so I don't have to divert too much because Webpack is actually where we want this thing to be entered because Webpack is the command that we call, right? So test command, what is that test command that we've been using? So I'm gonna go ahead and just run that test command of Webpack watch. This might be incorrect, but let's go ahead and try it. Of course, you can add a Git repository if you wanted, keywords if you wanted. So I'll just say learn Webpack and then maybe um, learn TypeScript and learn NPM, stuff like that. Author, my name, Justin Mitchell, license, MIT. And is this okay? Yes. I go back in, uh, I see now that I have package in here. So notice the dependencies are there. The dependencies do show up. So what if I installed a new dependency? Well, we'll actually talk about that in the next one. Um, but now that I have this, what if I did npm run? And it says test is in here. So npm test, it actually runs the webpack for me. So it actually runs these things right here. So what if I did in here, I'll just call run and I'll do that exact same thing. We save it and let's close out that webpack and I'll do npm run. It doesn't actually do it. So we would do run run. npm run itself probably has a few other things, but these are the scripts. So I can run watch or run um, uh, main, you know, anything that you would want to call it for your actual script and that's what you would do. So we actually don't have a test itself, but this is a, a nice and easy way to run this in a different way. So if I just did another one called run server, let's put a comma here, it would be that same server that we had before. So HTTP server dash C dash one, right? So we've got that now. So one of them is the webpack. So in here, I'm gonna just do npm run server. And there we go. So it's running the server and it's running our webpack. Pretty cool, right? Of course, obviously this test, I'm gonna just leave it as an empty string for now because I, I don't actually have anything uh, as far as tests are concerned in here. So I'm gonna leave that out, but that's our package. Um, as we compare it to the archive, obviously I don't have a lot of things here. And I could just probably just copy their no test package specified. Let's just copy that. Um, so that's that's pretty much it for the package is concerned. So really anyone can download this and then do npm install and it will install the dependencies um, for this, right? Obviously there's more things that I can do to this package to make it more robust and better. But notice the keywords in here, obviously I have a few of them repeating, so it's probably not something that I didn't write the keywords correctly, so I don't actually need learn multiple times. There we go. Uh, maybe tutorial though, tutorial. Cool. All right, so that's npm init and package.json. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Uh, otherwise, let's keep going.